Alan Jeff Skemp tonight says his daughter lives only in his heart and that a little justice would be nice. Justice in the form of an arrest. Rachel Mellon's abductor and likely killer locked up, he says. This is one of Metro Chicago's most inexplicable crime mysteries, and it began on a bitter cold January 31st, 1996, 25 years ago. I, I know she's in a better place and she's not suffering. Rachel Mellon was a popular smart seventh grader when she was last seen alive, homesick from school here in her family's Bolingbrook home. Her stepfather, Vincent Mellon, the only other person there that day. Whoever did this, and I have my suspicions about what happened, um, did a really good job of covering it up. And that's the problem. Her body never found. The stepfather told police he left only to take their dog for a walk and that hours later he realized Rachel was gone. From the start, police considered him their prime suspect, especially after flunking key parts of a lie detector test. I didn't really look around the neighborhood as far as thinking, you know, something might be suspicious. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't know what to say other than, uh, you know, I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary at that point. Tonight, 25 years later, Rachel Mellon's biological dad says he can't criticize police, but that they missed a chance to find her body. I think that if the police search their garage the night that they first get called there, especially knowing how many times they've been called to that house, uh, if they search that garage, and open up the trunk of that car that didn't run, I bet they find her right then and there. We spoke with recently retired Des Plaines Police Chief Bill Kushner, who solved several cold cases in his long career. Sooner or later, time and guilt catch up with people. Maybe it's a family member that had a, a knew something and decided not to tell because they were trying to protect someone. Maybe it's a, the individual who's responsible for the disappearance themselves finally realizes that they're getting down near the end of the road and they want to make peace. And I believe that if she was around today, she would be on the front lines fighting against racial injustice, social injustice, police corruption, would be doing everything within her power to help those of us who are struggling and suffering during the pandemic, that's who she was. And that's what she'd be doing right now. That makes me happy. Vince Mellon and Rachel's mother, Amy, moved to Tennessee years ago. Phone numbers listed for the couple either disconnected or no answer. Bolingbrook police in a written statement tonight claim the case is still active and evidence preserved awaiting possible scientific advancements. Even though public attention might help their investigation, Bolingbrook police would not do a television interview tonight explaining they have no new information to provide. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.